Welcome back guys to the Cyber Roadster build. Today we're going to start doing the metal work of the quarter panel. It's going to be super extreme as you guys might have seen in the last one with the tape and everything. And we put on this trim piece right here. This is the original one. It's uh, This has some black uh, wrap on it. Anyway, we put this original trim on. See, it's going all the way here, but I don't want this, you know, the, the curvature of this to be so rounded coming back here. So we were sitting here and we're like thinking, how does this how does this trim end you know what i mean it has to end somewhere like for example on the model 3 you know you got the back door and you have that little quarter glass that wraps around into this piece right here i got the other uh, trim piece take a look at this so where this mark is right here this is what we came up with it's going to stand right here and it's going to wrap up here this is how it's going to end so this right here is going to be plexiglass and the rest of it, that's going to be the quarter panel. It's going to be roughly, you know, in there like this. And we have just enough of this trim because th this, this piece of trim is for the right side. And look, if I put it here, this, this Sharpie mark is right here. So we have plenty. I'm going to cut it roughly here. So we have just enough to do this. So that's the idea for the window trim. Okay, first things first, what I need to do is I basically need to make this door jam. You know, when you close the door, there's like a wall. So right here, let me take this off. So come around here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a template right here. For example, this RAM board, I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna mark it where, you know, it, go, it, it goes flush to this skin. And then I'm gonna come from this side right here and then I'm gonna mark it like this you know, along the door. That's how I'm gonna get that shape. I'm gonna whip. <laughs> That's some cool ass music. <laughs> so, so I'm gonna mark it on this side I'll mark it on this side, and that's gonna be basically the shape of the door. So from, from, that, from that door jam piece, I'm gonna continue the body flowing this way. Let's do it. Guys, so this is the food for the month, the drinks. David's out here eating. How does that taste? I think this is like all six courses put uh, put into one bowl right here. And we've been using this table right here. This is a pretty cool table. Uh, it's a, what is this, a latte machine? <laughs> it's been standing like this for two weeks. It's still in the box. <laughs> maybe maybe we when we bought these, these were uh, boxes of bricks or something. <laughs> Hey, that happened to me at Target once. I bought a DVD player, a portable DVD player when they just came out. Imagine I open it, come home, open it, and it was uh, uh, tiles, broken tiles. Seriously. Really? Target, yeah. I was so pissed. I came back to the store. I came to the register like this. I was like, what the f is this? You know? And they called the manager and they came and they actually said that uh, this is not the first one. So they had a whole truckload of. Uh, boxes a portable dvd player boxes with tiles imagine that dang from target what do you make turkey here i think you can I mean, yeah. look right there in the picture is it right there there's a turkey in there yeah it's a small ass turkey look look at the, look at the picture oh damn well. is this their new stand <laughs> hey we're, we're gonna eat on top of here from now on <laughs> just like i'm doing it with this heater <laughs> Kind of small. It is. I don't know where the hell you're gonna find a turkey that big. Look at the picture. Look at the picture. That's a turkey right there. 
That ain't no damn. That, that that's a freaking quail, at least. You got scammed. That's hella small. Put your put your head in there. My head. What? Look, look. How are you supposed to put a tortilla? You gonna put it in here? Hell yeah! It's expired. <laughs> Okay, after literally about, I wanna say 15 different designs, right? We've been working on this car. Like I did with the fenders, I was working on the, on the quarter panel. Imagine making your quarter panel from nothing, okay? We finally came up with something which is not this one right here. This is just uh, one of many designs. And to, to even get something like this, you know, this is, keep in mind this is very rough. This is just plastic, we, we spray painted it. Um, just to get something like this, it takes several hours to get a different shape, right? You have to put different rods, you know, in, in these places, like this place, this place, this. There's one, you know, back here, you don't see it. Up here, it's very painstaking, right? So, literally, I think it was roughly about maybe 13, 15 different designs. Um, I came up with, with a design, which is the concept of the F80 Ferrari, and, uh, which is not this one. I came up with that idea. We did it on this side. I put the plastic on and I just sat down. I was devastated. I was like, oh my God, this is what I had my heart set on and I did not get what I wanted. And the reason for that is it was way too flat in this area, which is on this side. This is the modification of that Ferrari F80 concept and this is what I came up with. There's gonna be this massive vent right here this is going to be straight, straight through coming out here. This is going to be basically blacked out over here. But it looks like, it looks like the back of the body is overwhelming the, the, you know, the front of the car over here. And this, keep in mind, this is very rough. This is very rough. But the hip is going to start here. And it's going to you know, be rounded. It's going to come up here. And this is, you know, right now it's really square over here. But this is not what it's going to be like over here. The hip is going to basically go all the way over here. And there's going to be that duck, what is it, duck fin? Or what is it? Duck wing spoiler over here starting roughly, I want to say, in this area. Um, but this is, after two weeks, this is what I came up with. I wanted this part to work because it's really hard to make a uh, sedan. This was, you know, essentially this was a sedan. This was a four door. And to make this into attempt to create a two door exotic, you have this long body, you have this long piece of quarter panel here. It's really hard to do something about it because on an exotic car, picture the front door is right here. The wheel is a lot closer to the, to the, to the seats. It's literally right here. So the bodies definitely look different. Like this is a lot easier to make it flow, I would say. And this right here is what I came up with. I think in my mind, this is extremely different. This is the extreme that I was looking for. I think I figured it out. And like I said, I wanted something to overwhelm the front of the car. Like when you see it from the quarter view in the front, this is what it is. So from here on out, basically what I gotta do is, since I completely tore down that other side and it's completely different, what I'm gonna do is tear off all this plastic basically. You know, this, this all comes off. And now I have to mimic this, you know, basically make the car symmetrical. It's, it's really hard to make it symmetrical. Like you gotta do is basically for every rod that you put on, you have to measure, you know, basically, you know, X versus Y or whatever it is, right? And so you gotta, you know, top to bottom, left to right, and then you gotta square off the body, you know, kind of X the frame uh, on multiple different points. And that's just on one point, like for example, where this, where this rod meets up, let's say this rod, or this rod. So, um, that's where I'm at right now. I'm gonna mimic 
this side to that side and then basically start wrapping it up with sheet metal. Um, I'm gonna start with putting the sheet metal into the tunnels basically. And um, from then on, you know, finish this off. We're, we're definitely gonna carry this, this on right here, the, this part of the body. It's gonna be more, it's definitely gonna be more pronounced the way the, uh, the door goes, kind of you know, recess right there. And for the next video, it's basically me wrapping the body in sheet metal. And you guys are finally gonna see this this come to life this right here is this this is very rough i know you, uh, this is kind of hard to see but for the most part this is the massive vent that you guys will see in the body definitely we got a lot of exciting things coming like for example a lot of people mentioned about this area right here is this going to create drag is this going to create noise well what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a wind tunnel with fog literally in the shop right here and once i put on the sheet metal we're gonna test it. We're gonna test our theory, see what happens. Okay, so definitely stay tuned, like, share, subscribe. A lot of good things coming, peace.